In this lesson, we're going to use ratio notation to simplify and evaluate a three-part ratio. So for question A, we have A to B, which is 5 to 1, and B to C, which is 3 to 2. Now B is common to both, and we already have a ratio of 3 to 2 for B to C. When we look at the ratio A to B, well, 1 multiplied by 3 will make 3. So we use an equivalent ratio and multiply the 5 by 3 and that will make 15. So the three part ratio is 15 to 3 to 2. For question B, we have P to Q is 3 to 4 and Q to R is 1 to 2. And we already know that for every 4Q we have 3P. So now, when Q is 1, we have 2R, or 2Rs, so we need to multiply the 1 by the 4, and 2 by the 4, again, using equivalent ratios. So, the three-part ratio is 3 to 4 to 8. And question C, we have the ratio M to N, 4 to 5, and N to O, 3 to 8. And 15 is the lowest common multiple of 5 and 3. So 3 multiplied by 5 will make 15. So 8 times 5 will make 40. And 5 times 3 will make 15. So 4 times 3 will make 12. So the three part ratio is 12 to 15 to 40. For question D, we have the ratio of blue to red, which is 3 to 1, and the ratio of red to green, which is 2 to 5. So blue to red, which is 3 to 1, and red to green, which is 2 to 5. So we need to write a three-part ratio using the lowest common multiple of the red, which is 2, and we already have 2 to 5. But we need to multiply this ratio by 2, because 1 times 2 makes 2, and 3 times 2 makes 6. And it asks, what is the ratio of blue to green? Well, from blue to green, we have 6 to 5. There are 15 green counters, so we can use an equivalent ratio. 5 times 3 makes 15, and 6 times 3 is 18. So there are 18 blue counters for 15 green. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out mrmathematics.com for the full lesson and worksheet.